Right, Millet. Uh, so the bill would have dramatically raised the pensions of Argentinians uh, to compensate for inflation and everything else. And Millet basically said, look, um, we can't do this. We don't have the money. We're trying to balance the budget. We're trying to have a surplus. We're trying to reform the economy. This is not the time to um, raise people's pensions. Can't do it. And he vetoed it. And at the time, and I said this on the show, I said the problem is that Congress had passed this law with a veto-proof majority. That is, with enough votes to overturn the veto. But Millet hustled. And over the last week, he has lobbied and found congressmen, 87, to 87 in favor of overriding the Millet veto. But that was short of the two-thirds needed. 87 congressmen flipped their votes. Um, uh, you know, and, I, you know, it can be, it's interesting what he had to give to them in order to get them to do. But, because the issue itself might be small, what it shows anything else is how committed Millet actually is and how much support he can garner uh, politically, how much support you can garner politically when you're willing to roll up your shirt sleeves and, and actually go and do the work.